On October 30, 2024, a significant milestone was reached in Indonesia's naval modernization efforts at Seafine Shipyard in Yalova, Turkey, marking a new chapter in the Indonesian Navy's capabilities. The first steel-cutting ceremony for the fast-attack craft missile FACM-70 was conducted, following an order from the Indonesian Ministry of Defense for the Indonesian Navy's TNIAL Fast Attack Craft Fleet, SATCAT. This event was attended by notable representatives from the TNIAL and Indonesia's ambassador to Turkey, Ahmad Risal Pernama, symbolizing the commencement of construction for this advanced naval vessel. The FACM-70 is engineered to achieve remarkable speeds, reaching up to 40 knots, 74 kilometers per hour, which represents a substantial improvement over the existing KCR vessels in the Indonesian Navy that max out at 29 knots, 53 kilometers per hour. This impressive speed is made possible by a sophisticated propulsion system that combines gas turbine engines with three water jets and two marine diesel engines. The integration of diesel engines allows for more fuel-efficient operation during non-combat scenarios, showcasing a strategic approach to naval design that prioritizes both speed and efficiency. This new design also marks a return to the gas turbine technology previously utilized by the TNIAL in the Mandau-class fast attack crafts built in South Korea, reflecting a commitment to modernizing Indonesia's naval capabilities while leveraging proven technologies. In addition to its speed, the FACM-70 is equipped with an array of formidable weaponry designed to enhance its combat effectiveness. Key features include a 76mm forward-mounted gun for engaging surface and aerial threats, two sets of quadruple anti-ship missile launchers, significantly increasing its offensive capabilities, a close-in weapon system that comprises twin 12.7mm heavy machine guns, providing effective defense against close-range threats, a decoy launching system for electronic warfare and countermeasure operations. The ship is outfitted with a comprehensive radar and sensor suite, including 3D radar for air and surface surveillance, identification friend or foe IFF systems for target recognition, radar-based electronic support measures, RESM, for enhanced situational awareness, electro-optical reconnaissance and surveillance systems for precision targeting, fire control radar and meteorological sensors to ensure operational efficiency. For navigation, the FACM-70 employs advanced systems such as DGPS, Echo Sounder, Euro-INS, EM-Log, WECTUS, and WHS, ensuring precise and safe operations during missions. Measuring 70 meters in length, 11.8 meters in width, and weighing 850 tons, the FACM-70 is designed for endurance, capable of continuous operation for up to seven days. It can cover a range of 1,600 nautical miles, 2,963 kilometers, allowing it to operate effectively in the vast waters of the region. The vessel will be crewed by 43 personnel, providing a dedicated team to manage its advanced systems and engage in operational tasks. The FACM-70 project is a testament to the strengthening defense relationship between Indonesia and Turkey. In August 2024, both countries signed key strategic agreements that included advanced defense transfers and joint projects aimed at enhancing military capabilities and regional stability. These agreements involve the transfer of critical Turkish technologies, such as the Selsun's SARP remote weapon systems, the CNK radar system, and Roketsun's Kakir cruise missiles and Sungur air defense systems. Turkey is also set to support Indonesia's defense initiatives with unmanned systems, tank modernization, and missile system maintenance. The collaboration signifies both nations' commitment to countering regional security threats and enhancing military interoperability, with joint military exercises planned for 2025 focused on counterterrorism and maritime security. Past collaborations, such as the jointly developed Kaplan MT Harimau tank and the supply of ANK drones to Indonesia, further exemplify the commitment of both countries to co-develop defense technologies. As Indonesia and Turkey continue to deepen their ties, these initiatives contribute to regional peace and bolster their defense capabilities through innovation and collaboration. The FACM-70 represents a significant advancement in Indonesia's naval modernization efforts, combining speed, advanced weaponry, and state-of-the-art technology to enhance the operational capabilities of the TNIAL. As Indonesia strengthens its defense ties with Turkey, both nations are poised to create a more secure and stable maritime environment in Southeast Asia.